Greetings, fellow watchmen. I've been thinking a lot lately about desperation for the Lord. A book I read recently made me realize that the Lord is waiting to pour out His manifest presence on those who are desperate for Him. I desire that desperate, intimate relationship, but I want to be totally honest. I've often been afraid, afraid that if I sought that intimacy, something tragic would happen to make me desperate. Have you ever had thoughts like that? I know those thoughts are wrong because that's not who our God is. True, tragedies and troubles can cause one to become desperate for God, but those are not the only ways to be drawn into intimacy with the Lord. Holy Spirit can draw us, and as we choose to seek Him, He promises we'll find Him when we search for Him with all of our heart. And as for that fear I was talking about, God doesn't give a spirit of fear. In 1 John chapter 4, it says God is love, perfect love, and perfect love casts out all fear. So I can choose to pursue Him, trusting in His goodness and mercy, love, faithfulness, and wisdom. My prayer then is, Lord, make me more and more hungry for the bread of life and thirsty for the living water. May I make room for the intimacy for which you created me, that your presence and power may fall upon me and my fellow watchmen, upon our families and on our nation. Lord, we desperately need you. We don't deserve your goodness and mercy, but that's who you are, goodness and mercy. You are faithful even when we are not, and you are perfect love by which all fear is driven out. All glory and honor belong to you, our most high, almighty, one true God. May you be blessed today, fellow watchmen.